Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Alex and today I'm gonna be eating all day. Just kidding. I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating, what I eat in a day type of thing. I actually have a throbbing headache right now so I've been up for quite some time but it took me a while to get out of bed because I feel like I was gonna fall over if I do. So, it is a lot later than when I typically go eat for breakfast. It's 10.30 at the moment. I usually eat around like 9, 9.30 for breakfast. But just like I said, my head was just not having it. I'm gonna cook breakfast. I'm gonna eat my usual eggs, turkey, bacon, all that jazz. And yeah, let's make some breakfast. Also, I actually don't have a diet, but I try to eat about 2,800 to 2,500 calories a day. When I say I don't have a diet, I actually try to eat healthy. I don't really eat fast food as much. I guess you can say I have a balanced diet because I snack with chocolates, I eat donuts, I drink iced coffee pretty much every day. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm trying to gain weight. I'm not trying to lose weight. I say this on every fitness video that I do. Well, some of them. So that is just a little disclaimer. I actually don't really count my macros, but for today's video, I'm just gonna do it for you guys so you guys have an idea of how much I eat. So I actually do this every time I would wake up in the morning. I would drink water. I drink water first thing in the morning before I go to bed and throughout the day. This is not a dirty pan. My brother used it this morning, so I'm just gonna reuse it. For today's breakfast, so two eggs, I upgraded, I have three turkey bacons now, and then I have some avocados, and I'll insert the macros somewhere on the screen, and yeah. So I don't think any of you guys are interested just watching me eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast, and I'll get back to you guys around lunchtime. So. It is lunchtime, and I think I'm gonna make some quinoa. I'm craving some quinoa and some chicken, so I think that's what I'm gonna make. And my head still hurts. Honestly, I would take Advil or Tylenol to help me with my headache, but if I can still tolerate it, then I don't really wanna do that because I don't wanna rely on meds. But today is gonna be a long day for me, so I might end up taking something to help me. I don't know, we'll see throughout the day. But for right now, let's go ahead and make some lunch. So in here we got some quinoa, avocado, chickpeas, um, this Italian roasted chicken that is already pre-cooked but I just microwaved it because it was a little bit cold. And then I also have some carrots. I would put some cucumbers in here but we ran out so. And yeah, this is my lunch for today. Okay, taste test. Ten out of ten. So it is a couple hours later, and I look like a mess. But my brother got me some Starbucks. I got the iced white mocha with one shot of caramel syrup and sweet cream cold foam on top. And it's really, really good. And I recommend it if you guys would want to try a new drink. Try it; it's really good. So right now, it is gym time so before i go to the gym 
I usually take a pre-workout. Sometimes I don't. It really depends on my mood. But if I'm feeling a little tired, just like today, I'm gonna take a pre-workout, even though I already had coffee, but it's fine. So the pre-workout that I take is the Alani New pre-workout in Carnival Candy Grape. This thing is sour, but it helps me wake up a little because sometimes coffee doesn't really wake me up. I don't know, I'm weird. Sometimes coffee makes me really tired. I know it's supposed to wake you up and all that, but it does the opposite for me. I don't know, I actually don't know why. So I stopped doing dry scoops um, when it comes to pre-workout because first off, if you cough that thing, it can get to your lungs, but some people just have preference and I prefer to just mix it with water and drink it from there. I don't take the full scoop of this because I get really itchy. Just half a scoop and then I mix it with water. And then I drink it from here. After that, I take this two things whenever I'm working out. I take the Alani New BCAA. I always get the sour gummy one because I got used to that flavor and I like it. And I take um, Six Star 100% Creatine. This one doesn't have any flavor to it, but I mix them both. I do half a scoop of each one, mix it with water, and that's what I drink every time I work out. Okay, so I did take a pre-workout, but I haven't finished my coffee just yet. So I'm gonna continue drinking this until I'm at the gym. Also, if you guys are wondering, it is fine to mix pre-workout and caffeine. It's not a bad thing. Obviously, if you had like three cups of coffee, then it's probably not a good idea to take a pre-workout after. But I only drink one cup of coffee every day and take a pre-workout when I need to. So we are gonna go to the gym and hit a workout because I'm really feeling it. It's kicking in. <laughs> I need. I just really need to move right now. So we are done our workout and I am sweaty. It's so hot. My AC is blasting. I don't know if you guys are hearing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm gonna eat dinner, and then I'm gonna go hang out with my friends, and then I'm gonna eat way later again tonight. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Okay, so I just got home. So I forgot to mention, after my workout, my brother, cause my brother also weight lifts and stuff, he told me that I need to eat a certain amount of carbs, calories, and protein after I work out. Um, it's just basically to fuel up your body and stuff. I don't want to say how much it is because I don't want people commenting hate comments about it. I forgot how much calories they need to take after your workout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask him again. But yeah, basically every time you work out, you just need to fuel up your body. Because some people, after they work out, they don't eat. And that's not right. I drank the five star protein shake in triple chocolate and then just mix that with water. We can mix it with milk, but I am lactose, so I'm just doing it with water. But yeah, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I did get ready first before drinking my protein shake because just like I said, we are gonna go out tonight. So I ended up eating rice and some butterfly shrimp and I drank my protein shake, and to be quite honest, I don't think that's enough, but since I'm eating later on tonight, I think it should be okay. Since it is wings night, uh, typically their minimum amount is about like 10 wings, and sometimes it's hard for me to finish that, so that's why I didn't wanna eat a lot. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, go bowling, and I don't know if I'm gonna get any clips there. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog inside the bowling alley, we'll see. Uh, because it's really not part of this video, but yeah, I'll see you guys whenever
so I just got home from bowling and eating wings and yes, so in total today I ate about 2,700 calories and I did reach my protein goal, which is great. Yeah, the wings that we ate, I just kind of estimated the amount of calories that's in it. It says that it's about like 900 calories, which it could be possible. Oh, before I forget, when I need to snack on things, I would snack on these two things. But other than that, I don't really eat chips or anything like that. And yeah, that is it for my realistic what I eat in a day. Typically, I would eat the same thing pretty much every day. It doesn't really change much. As you guys can tell from every video that I do, pretty much my breakfast is eggs and turkey bacon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you guys have an amazing day or night whenever happens to be watching this and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!